Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank God so much that we are able to meet here. I greet you in the name of Jesus. This is Pastor Dr. Ray Kessis bringing you the message, the word of God. Like we have told you before, we have 33 messages for each day that we have recorded and are uploading one by one on our YouTube channel. The channel is Ray Kessis when you go to YouTube, R-E-I-K-E-S-I-S. And now this is a series of 14 messages that concern our relationship with one another. The earlier 33 messages concerned our relationship with God. And so all these messages are of value to you. We want to invite you to visit that channel and get to listen to the message, messages, share with other people, and of course, uh, be blessed. Now we want to invite you for the message of this day today. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, glory be to your name. There is no God like you. Make your word simple. Make your word clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The message I would like to share with you, my friends, is titled, Sometimes the End is Better. Sometimes the end is better. Sometimes, not all times, sometimes the end is better. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8. The Bible tells us that the end of a matter is better than its beginning. The end of a matter is better than its beginning ladies and gentlemen sometimes the end is better not all times but sometimes sometimes ending a matter will bring progress and that's why we say sometimes the end is better the end of school by graduation is better than admission time when you are admitted to a school, you are excited that you are now a student. But the end when you graduate and you have qualified is much better. I'm here to tell you, friends, that sometimes the end is better. But there are unfortunate situations, and I hope that it doesn't happen to you, where you are defeated by your studies. You can't study. You are unable to study. Your head is locked. You have tried everything. It's not because you are smoking. It's not because you are drinking. It's not because you are in a bad company. You just can't study. Maybe you need another line of study. And you know at this point, it is better to end that studies than wasting money and time in school. Sometimes the end is better. We are not recommending that anyone leave school. But we are saying that there are very few people who are completely unable and their future is difficult. Because how will they make it in life? How will they survive the future without an education? But there are people who stay in school is a waste of time. And unless another strategy is done, if they're in drugs, they must completely quit. If they're in bad company, they must completely let go. Or else every stay in school is a waste of money and a waste of time. And the end of that academic journey will be better than continuing to waste money. And so every parent and sponsor needs to assess just allowing somebody to go through the process wasting money is not wisdom is not love say oh just let him go on just just let her go on no don't waste money and time another solution must be found and sometimes the end of that academic journey is better but like i said we don't pray for such a situation but the message today is that sometimes the end is better the end of a violent relationship is better than dying in that relationship if you're in a relationship that is violent there is violence so-called domestic violence you will die there god did not order you to go and die in a relationship the vows are to be mutual staying together until death does you part not until your partner kills you and sometimes when that violence cannot be stopped by discussion and by any other means, 
sometimes the end is better sometimes the end is better take note sometimes sometimes i tell you sometimes the end of a loss making business is better than continuous losses when a business makes a loss, you must quickly solve the solution, the, the problem. But when you have tried and you discover all attempts have failed and you are still making losses, I'm here to tell you that sometimes the end is better. The end of unemployment is better if it ushers you into a better opportunity. Sometimes some employments end and God in his miraculous ways ushers you to another better opportunity of business or employment and at this point we will say the end of that employment was a good thing sometimes the end is better it just depends on god sometimes the end is better not all ends are bad not all ends are bad sometimes when people are totally advanced in age totally advanced in age they are sickly they can't be treated they can't be operated on they can't be given this medication they can't be given that medication and what remains is just suffering sometimes the end is better we are not advocating for mass killing euthanasia no we are just saying that a time comes when it is said that oh let him rest let her rest because sometimes the end is better that's the reality of life not all ends are bad you see in luke chapter 15 the prodigal son's career in hedonism pursuing pleasure ended and it was good that it ended he took money from home used all the money wasted all the money enjoyed life totally and surely this young man was going to get lost because he didn't even have sense enough to invest. He only knew how to eat the money without producing the money. That was a very bad behavior and such a behavior should not be carried into adulthood. And so when such a behavior ends, we say sometimes the end is better. And so when he ran out of the money, he decided to look for employment to make more money so that he can enjoy. But when he got into the employment of pig farming, he was not able to do it and he reached the end of his childhood wisdom do you know sometimes as youth we have foolish wisdom and we think we are brighter than everybody haven't you listened to primary school students and secondary school students and university students when they are confronting the school administration the university administration they feel like they know everything they say, you teach us, you lead us, you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to do that. These are 15-year-olds and the teachers are 50 years old. They have seen life several times your age. And you think you are very wise. And you know that the wisdom of a young person sometimes is total foolishness when they think they are very wise. Listen, friends. You need to be careful sometimes when you 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 know you 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 are very proud of your knowledge because there could be people who know better. Sometimes the people you dismiss, sometimes old people dismiss young people when young people know better. Sometimes young people dismiss old people when old people know better. I'm here to tell you that be careful, don't be too sure. It's not wisdom to be too sure that you know everything. It's not wisdom. So when you are engaging your teachers, your parents, and you think you really know, eh, I deserve my rights, I deserve my freedom. Do you really need freedom at 21? What do you know about life at 21? You still need guidance of a parent if you are to come out a better person. And so this prodigal son, with all this wisdom of a young person, it ended in a very foolish way. But you know, friends, that end was good because he went back home and he was accepted and restored and he lived a better life sometimes the end is better 
and i pray that if there is anyone living a foolish life out there smoking drinking wasting money just enjoying life that they using money they never earn using pocket money or stolen money from parents i pray that your career in pleasure will end as soon as immediately sometimes the end is better so that you can come back home to your senses learn to work hard and produce your own income sometimes the end is better and so the prodigal son's end was better when he came back home in acts chapter 9 we find Saul's conversion Saul was a very educated man among the Jews Saul was a highly placed religious leader but his career in persecuting the church and doing what his academic and social status required came to an end when he met Jesus on the way to Damascus and he was converted to Christianity that looked like a religion that belonged to foolish and poor people listen friends that end of Saul's career in academia and religious rank was the best thing that happened to Christianity because when that career ended he became a Christian and half of the books of the New Testament are written by apostle Paul who was formerly Saul I just came to tell you friends that sometimes the end is better you see if you are in a bad life or in a bad situation you try to solve it please try solving it don't just sit and look at problems try solving it try once try twice try thrice but if nothing is working sometimes you need to move on to something else move on to something else end it and move on to something else sometimes the end is better but when we talk about the end we are not talking about suicide killing yourself that is wrong that is sin that is against god that is giving a permanent solution to temporary problems when we say sometimes the end is better we are talking about ending a matter and restarting again elsewhere with energy not completely ending it in death listen friends sometimes the end is better You see friends when you are in a relationship sometimes you date sometimes you court sometimes you find yourself in engagement we talked about these things in our previous presentations but sometimes it is necessary to break a date sometimes it is necessary to break a courtship sometimes it is necessary to break an engagement because ending it will be better for you than going on You see you can discover something about somebody you are relating with that will be very expensive for your future. Maybe they cheat, maybe they 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 are devil worshipers, maybe they practice witchcraft, maybe they are not believers, maybe they are violent, maybe you know there's something unfaithful about them and dishonest about them. Going on into marriage is the most stupid thing you can do in life. you find a significant mistake in a partner then go ahead and get married after you have been told by your friends by your relatives you've been warned and you go ahead you will cry bitter tears and wish that you are, you had ended it i'm here to tell you that sometimes the end is better if you cannot resolve the issues before marriage they will never be resolved after marriage If the person is bad 1% before marriage they will be bad 10% after marriage you can imagine if they slap you before marriage they will kill you after marriage sometimes the end is better so what are you supposed to do friends after you have tried everything and it's not working call the person to a face to face meeting and tell them that i have tried this and that and i am unable to continue with this relationship blame yourself tell the person i'm impatient i'm short tempered i'm a bad person and that's why i must leave and once you do that you switch off any communication no relationship dies unless you kill the communication even if they write you a message and say that they are dying they need your help call an ambulance but don't go there don't respond don't say birthday wishes don't do anything that is how to end a bad relationship 
cut all communications after making it clear face to face with the person. Sometimes the end is better. Our dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you may bless us with wisdom to know when to try and try again and to know when to end that which is not working. Give us this wisdom and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes the end is better.